Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 6th. So this is just a message from my guides. This reading may or may not be for you. Uh, the timing is fluid. We are going to start right here. What do we have? What do we have for the six? Sadness and isolation. This is the Three of Swords. Mm. Sadness and isolation. That's that's not good. Let me uh, go ahead and read that one. I'm going to read that one from the book. See what they have to say. Sorrow, disappointment, trust, and healing. Love can bring both joy and sorrow. When disappointment enters your life, it's important to acknowledge the accompanying sadness and feeling of loss. However, it's equally vital not to dwell on the loss. The temptation may be to isolate yourself from the world and cling to your grief. This card is a reminder to trust that this situation, as hard as it may be, is in your best interest. It's time to gently let go of the sorrow and disappointment. So we have somebody here that is suffering and they need to let go. Even though it's as hard as it may be, it is in your best interest to let go of the sorrow and disappointment. So somebody's been clinging to their grief and you know it's time it's time to let go so what do we have for the six painful Eight of Wands. This is forward movement. Oh, something is about to be revealed. The moon reversed. Ooh, the world reversed. There's unfinished business or there's lack of closure. A feeling of emptiness. Incomplete. Ooh, Four of Cups. Hmm. This is... Uh, analyzing it's like there's an offer of love somebody sees it but they're not taking it not taking it but thinking about it somebody is thinking about love thinking about emotional contentment thinking about what love is thinking about the unfinished business thinking about the lies thinking about what their next move is we're going to do it this way this time Mm, they're watching. Somebody's watching. There's been an injustice. There's been unfair treatment. Mm, the lovers. There's consequences. There's consequences for your actions. Now there's a d decision, a choice to be made. Do I go? Do I, do I follow my heart? This is bad karma. Justice reversed. The challenge is doing the right thing. King of Cups. Well, hmm. Queen of Cups. We have a soulmate connection here. We have a soulmate connection here that is, has fallen apart or it's not working out. It's, there's a death on the bottom. So this is uh, a death. Okay, it's the end. It's the end of suffering. Somebody has been suffering and isolating themselves, thinking about a love, thinking about what love is. Presently, they, they, it's like they're thinking about something that they have been hiding. They've been hiding the truth. The truth is right here. Somebody's been hiding the truth. 
about what they want in love. It's like they're hoping to have, you know, to be with their soulmate. It's like they want to be with their soulmate. They want to be with the one that they are meant to be with. And they see an opportunity for wish fulfillment. We have the Nine of Cups here. They see it. They see it. But in order to get it, they will have to communicate. They will have to be honest and truthful. And they will have to not be withdrawn. We have somebody here that is unable to master their emotions. Unable to, you know, do the right thing. We got somebody here that just can't. You know, do the right thing. This person is blocking their heart. We have somebody, and, and it's like it's causing the other person to block their heart. So we have two people now that are blocking their feelings for each other because one person just won't own up to their lies, their deception, their mistakes. So anyway, we have an opportunity for love here we do with a lover's card i feel like somebody is receiving an offer on another note somebody is receiving an offer of of love and they're thinking about taking it they're thinking about taking it but they're also thinking about you know the unfinished business from from the past i feel as though right now there's 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 an opportunity for you know wish fulfillment if somebody can really be honest and tell the truth. So I feel like we have somebody here that is with this death card. It feels like this is a this is an opportunity for a new beginning. The overall ending, I mean the overall ending. The overall energy is ending something to start something new. So I'm just going to have to shut my phone off. Hold on. I'm, I do apologize. But uh, there we go. So this is the death of something. It's the end. It's the completion. What endings bring new beginnings. So we have somebody here that is withholding love. From the person they love because the person they love will not reciprocate will not you know but there's really there is love here there's a soul this is a soulmate connection so this is communication this is moving forward somebody is thinking about communicating but they know that if they do, they will have to tell the truth. Hmm. And they're sad and they've been isolating themselves because they feel incomplete. They feel empty without this soulmate connection. Hierophant. Hierophant to reverse. This is a lack of faith disbelief somebody that may not believe there could be spiritual issues here you know religious issues where there's religious differences that are hindering a connection um there could be fear of commitment as well we have somebody here that is very withdrawn and closed off emotionally and they may be closed off because of their they don't they don't want a commitment they're fearful of commitment or they just don't you know they don't ever want to get married again or whatever the case is um, I think somebody is having a very hard time communicating their true feelings. And part of the reason they're having a hard time is, is, is because of commitment. And one of the things is, as well is we have somebody here that's not listening to their gut. Somebody's not listening to their gut at all. It's like their gut is speaking to them. We have a higher power here and they're not listening. They're not listening. Um, but this truth is about to be revealed, Okay. It's about to be revealed with that moon reversed. And this is, there's some sort of um, injustice that is about to be revealed here. It has to do with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Taurus. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Gemini over here with this lover's card. 
So it looks like we have somebody here that is really thinking about their soulmate. But they're probably with somebody who, or they're, they're, who knows, they may be in a commitment with somebody who is not their soulmate. I don't know. There's some sort of lie here, okay? Yeah, false sense of security. Somebody uh, got into a rebound. They got into a rebound type of thing, and it still has, still doesn't complete them. They're still unfinished business. So I feel like we have somebody here that is thinking about their foundation, and they're thinking about the love of their life with this lover's card, and they're thinking about the consequences. We have the lover's is a card of consequences, and the justice is a card of consequences, the consequences of their actions. But they also see an opportunity for wish fulfillment. But they know that this other person has closed off to them. It's like this person has closed off to me because of my inability to be honest and truthful and committed. So, um, we have somebody here that may communicate. They may communicate. They may try to prove themselves. They may they may desire to start over. Uh they they may have went through some upheaval in their life and maybe they've went through some so, sort of spiritual awakening maybe they've changed maybe they've evolved maybe these um circumstances that they got themselves involved in has taught them some sort taught them something you know maybe they don't want to keep repeating the same patterns that they've been repeating over and over again I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, the time, it's like, it's time. Maybe it just wasn't the right time. And maybe they're thinking, you know, now maybe it's the right time. Um, but we do have a soulmate connection here that could make somebody really happy. But they're holding on to a false sense of security in which they will have to come. They will have to release it with that death card. They have to release the false sense of security that they got involved with to fill the void and deal with the unfinished business and come with something solid, you know, come with something honest and truthful, with, which includes respect and compromise and communication and, you know, working together. I think we have somebody here that didn't, that realizes this, because this is realizing that they didn't put in enough effort and, you know, maybe they, they want to rebuild a foundation that crumbled maybe maybe i mean that's what it looks like to me i feel like there is probably going to be some sort of movement okay there's going to be some sort of movement even though we have somebody here that is very withdrawn um this person didn't have good intentions in the past but they may have received some karma you know, karma doesn't lose an address. It will hit you right in the pocketbook. It will. So, um, or the wallet. So, I feel like we have somebody here that is realizing, you know, the falseness of their current foundation. They may be releasing it. They may be. I don't know. Um, are they going to? <clears throat> The emperor. Oh, this emperor takes control. He's very organized. He's structured. He takes action. He's got, you know, everything in order. Everything in order. And, and he's about to make a move. He's about to, you know, speak up. So this guy is about to speak up and let people know what his plans are. So I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take control. And this, this person, um is very wise this person has a lot of life experience and this person is finally ready this person is ready to just settle down and be with his queen all right um this guy is a warrior he's been through hell already this guy is a businessman this guy is he could be the boss he's he could be the owner he could be the owner of a business he is um very very capable and I think that he has been planning his next move and he is about to take action. I feel as though somebody is probably going to receive a message that somebody is moving on from a false foundation and they're heading 
you know, in a different direction. They're just, they're just moving out, you know, or they're just letting go of that false sense of security, that false commitment. This is a false commitment because they see a soulmate. This guy, he's, he's, he, he knows what he wants. He's very wise. So we have somebody here that is thinking about going after a soulmate. They already they already got this person. They they know who it is. Okay, this it's like this person is in sight. They've been watching this person. They've been wanting to make the move. I think they're ready. They're ready, especially with that temperance card. Somebody is about ready to make a move. Um, there's they're not being they're not getting the love that they thought they were going to get from that false sense of security. It's just not love. It's just not love. It's not. They don't, you know. So I feel like we have somebody here that is 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 going to be It's like this is this guy is really th going thinking about accepting it. It's like this is big love. This is big love. So I feel like there's going to be, it's like this person that sees an opportunity for big love and I think that he is about to go for it. And that's what I see. Should we get, what time is it? 16.29? Okay. Let's just get one of these for the heck of it. Let's get an angel romance for the heck of it, why don't we? This is for the six. I think there's going to be movement. There is going to be some sort of movement. They may just be releasing that false sense of security. Um, they've been somebody's been resisting change, but I don't think I think that this love is so big that you know it, this person is realizing the the, the love connection. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And this is this guy's been clinging to control. So I think we this guy's about to make a move. We could be dealing with an Aries. We could be dealing with anybody. There, everybody is here. Everybody is here. Uh, they are. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Everybody is here. Somebody's in a false soulmate connection. I think they're about to leave, release, because they see an opportunity for love that is so meant to be, and they know it. Good luck.